Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're back, it's because, sorry, that was my fridge. If you're back, it's obviously because you're following my weight loss surgery journey. So today is day one of my liver shrinking diet. I have to go on this liver shrinking diet for 10 days prior to my surgery. So it's basically from now until the day of my surgery. And it, basically what it does is um, it sh shrinks my liver. So whenever they go in laparoscopically to do the weight loss surgery, it's easier for them to maneuver around. Um, so yeah, I don't know what I kind of want to do with this video. I think I just kind of want to take you guys on my journey. The videos will probably be short, I think. Um, and just show you guys kind of what it's like. I think I'm going to obviously don't think I know I'm going to start today. And then I'll take you guys obviously all the way through until surgery. Um, today's breakfast is gonna be this premier protein cafe latte drink. Um, and then I will show you guys lunch later, okay? I'll talk to you guys a little bit later, y'all. Bye. Oh my gosh, I look like a crazy lady, but honestly, I'm, I don't even care. I'm just gonna do this video. So I'm back. Um, it's still day two of my liver shrinking diet. Um, I like suck at like <laughs> recording these things. So bear with me guys. So for so for breakfast, I had a premier protein shake. This one's Quest, but the other one was premier protein shake. And then like a co coffee latte flavor. Um, I bought those just because like I can't drink coffee. And so... Um, Obviously, like, it gives me my coffee fix and it helps me wake up in the morning. And then for lunch, I had some of the lemon pepper chicken that I cooked last night. And also some um, broccoli and cauliflower that I sauteed last night with a little bit of gar garlic, garlic salt, and um, olive oil. A little bit of olive oil to just give it that flavor, obviously, and cook it and toast it a little bit. Um, and then for dinner, I'm having this, um, Quest chocolate milkshake and I, <laughs> I was busy, um, Saturday cleaning and I didn't eat my afternoon snack. So I'm also eating my, um, half a cup of, um, cottage cheese. So, um, don't judge me. I didn't want to get my dishes dirty. I literally just cleaned everything. So I'm like, I'm on dirty dishes again. Um, so yeah, honestly, yesterday was a good day. I didn't, I'm glad that I switched it up today and I'll explain why. So yesterday I had my protein shake in the morning and then for lunch I had a protein shake. And then I, for my snack, I had, um, what did I have? Oh, I had a yogurt and, and I feel like I was getting really, really hungry. Um, and I was feeling kind of like lightheaded because like usually I have a heavy breakfast and, whatever, whatever. Um, so I was kind of like, ugh, like not lightheaded, but I was just like tired, you know? Um, so today I was like, you know what? I'm going to switch it up. I think I'm going to do, um, my shake in the morning and then my like protein meal with like my veggies for lunch. And then like at night I can have my, my shake and it kind of balances out a little bit. And honestly, I think it was a good idea because I had the shake in the morning. And then again, like I said, I had the chicken and the broccoli with the cauliflower for lunch. And it literally held me through up until like right now, which is, I think right now it's like five or six in the afternoon. Um, and I got, I started getting hungry and that's also because I didn't have the afternoon snack. So, um, right now I was like, you know what? I'm just going to combine my afternoon snack and my, um, chocolate shake and just eat it. Um, I should be doing this better. I'm actually going to right now when I'm done recording this, I'm going to put reminders um, in my phone to remind me to eat because <laughs> I'm the kind of person that gets really busy and when I get busy I forget to eat and I'll, I think that's why I struggle so much to lose weight because I'm not consistent so I have to get better at that um but yeah so now I'm just hanging out um watching a little bit of Grey's Anatomy debating if I should go to Walmart and I need to go buy a scale um a food scale and like a scale scale but i look you want to order one of those on amazon so i'm like i don't know i don't know what to do so anyway so yeah that's what i'm doing right now we'll see what tomorrow brings i think honestly I, it, it's not as bad as i think i anticipated it to be um i think i just kind of anticipated because of the dieting that i've done in the past 
Um, it's always been really hard for me, but I think because I've been on the fentramine for so long and like it helps me, it's helped me so much. I have to stop the fentramine Monday. Um, it's helped me. And honestly, I didn't even take my fentramine today. So I think we're okay. Um, so anyway, yeah, I think that's also another thing that like has helped me, but that's obviously not a healthy thing to be on for the rest of my life. So that's another reason why I'm getting the surgery done, but yeah, I'm really excited. Um, we'll see how tomorrow goes. Tomorrow I have another busy day because I'm going Christmas shopping um, in the morning. And then in the afternoon, we're going to go to the Christmas lights. So, yeah. Oh, my God. My hair is so crazy. I've been so busy all day today. Um, cleaning. But anyway, yeah. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, and I'll meet back with you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, today's day three of my liver shrinking diet. So last, last night, um, I like couldn't really sleep well, but I think it's because I had like a really bad headache. Um, and then I woke up with the same headache this morning um, and I took some Advil um, or Tylenol, I'm sorry to see if it helps. But I think the reason why I'm getting these headaches is because I'm not used to like, I'm used to eating like shit, obviously, you know what I mean? Or sorry, like crap. Um, so ew, part of my lips, I look like, I just haven't put my lipstick on yet cause I'm gonna eat, but um, I still feel really like, I feel kind of, I wanna say, I don't wanna say nauseous, but just like, I just feel like crap, you know what I mean? Like, and I just feel like it's like my body, like, I don't, I don't even know if you would call it like detoxifying or cause it's, I'm not really like detoxifying. I just think my body is just not used to like, like the healthier eating, I guess you could say. Um, cause I do like, I'm not gonna lie, I do eat like crap. And so I think that's kind of where I'm at and that's probably why I feel this way. But anyway, this morning I again had my premier protein, um, coffee latte shake. Um, and then right now for lunch, I'm going to have a salad with a little bit of light ranch. I can't have too much, um, so I'm going to have a little bit of light ranch. And then I'm also going to eat um, my lemon pepper chicken and um, my sautéed um, veggies. So this is what they look like. Oh, they're so bomb. I asked if I could add a little bit of shredded Parmer Parmesan cheese or if I could have Parmesan cheese and they said yes. So um, I'm gonna add a little bit of Parmesan cheese and then um, eat it with my lemon pepper chicken. That's amazing. Um, for my snack, my afternoon snack, um, yogurt, the the low fat, uh, low, low light and fit yogurt, which is this one, Greek peach, see how it tastes. And then for dinner i'll probably have um i don't know if we're gonna go out to eat tonight and we're supposed to take um ziki and sophia who are my little brother and sister um to the zoo or i'm sorry to the um christmas in color or whatever but anyway and today's ziki's birthday happy birthday baby boy i love you um so yeah anyway that's the plan and he, <laughs> he's so funny um we asked him where he wanted to go eat and he was like texas roadhouse i was like damn boy you is expensive <laughs> anyway so if we go to texas roadhouse i'll probably just get like a yes i know um i'll probably just get like a grilled you can get like a grilled chicken breast and then they have like steamed veggies so i'll probably have that um with salad maybe um but that salad i probably won't eat with um dressing just because of the fact that um i'm having the light ranch dressing we'll see but anyway so yeah day three we'll see i'm really hoping this headache goes away i'm the kind of person that like i can't function very well when i have headaches and i get really bad headaches almost like close to migraine type of headaches um so i'm just like oh lordy please help me so we'll see but yeah day three guys um i'm really excited because tomorrow it'll be a week till surgery given that everything goes well um i've been staying out home i haven't been going out just because i'm really really nervous um to get sick to get um covid 
um, I've been trying to just not be around anybody, you know, it's really sucks because um, I had a friend, some friends that wanted to come over um, last night and hang out and I was like, I'm sorry guys, just because like I'm really, really trying to take care of myself um, and not really, I was actually going to go Christmas shopping this weekend and I was like, uh, maybe you shouldn't just because of the fact that like, um, yeah, I'm like, I'm probably just going to have to go next weekend, like the weekend before my surgery. Um, so I have to go to Denver anyway, um, for my COVID test on Friday the 11th. Um, and so I'll probably just like hang out, hang around and, and Christmas shop. So yeah, we'll see. All right, guys. Well, thanks for following my journey so far. I hope this is like interesting. We'll see. Um, anyway. All right. We'll see y'all. See y'all later. Bye. Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome back. Today is day four of my, <coughs> excuse me, liver shrinking diet. Um, I woke up this morning, I felt really good, um, really energized. I've never had surgery before, so I think I have really bad anxiety right now about it. I don't think I know. I haven't been able to sleep very much. So like last night, last night I woke up like at midnight and I went to bed. I didn't go to bed till like almost four in the morning. And then I woke back up at 7.30. So it's been crazy. But anyway, so for breakfast this morning, um, I had the my same thing. I'm only going to change it up. No, I'm just kidding. But I only have a, a week and a day left of this diet. So, um, oh, I mean, six days left of this diet. Um so this morning I had my premier protein shake drink um for breakfast um and then right now for lunch <coughs> excuse me I'm having um turkey ground turkey um with chile cebolla y tomate um and I use serrano peppers and holy crap guys they were so spicy my house is like you know when your mom's cooking chile and you're like <coughs> yeah like i'm i'm that girl right now just i'm not a mom but anyway and then i made my sauteed um i don't know if you can see it um i made my sauteed um broccoli and cauliflower the reason why i've been eating this a lot is because I'm not a really big veggie person. Um, I am and I'm not. <laughs> so I love broccoli. Like I could eat broccoli all day, every day and cauliflower too. So that's why I've been eating this. But I know I'll probably end up eating terror by the end of the week. Who knows? Maybe I won't. I was thinking about tonight or tomorrow going to Walmart and getting like some asparagus or Brussels sprouts and like switching it up just a little bit. Um, at least for like the rest of the days. But also... <laughs> I bought a big package of broccoli and cauliflower, so that's why I like want to finish it before I have to, um, before I go into surgery on Monday. So, but I, well, I was thinking, you know, I was like, you know what, I'll have this today, and then I'll get the Brussels sprouts and the um, asparagus, um, and then I'll freeze the um, broccoli and the cauliflower that I have and then I could just eat that whenever I'm able to eat like solid foods again after my surgery um so I'll probably just end up doing that oh, dude I have so much mocos because of how spicy I had to open the windows because oh my gosh I was like literally choking it was so bad um but anyway yeah so this is gonna be lunch and then for my mid-afternoon snack I'm probably just gonna have um yogurt or boiled eggs I want to try and have boiled eggs because um, I know like boiled eggs tend to be really fulfilling um, and I feel like that's kind of what I need right now. I've, um, I'm not getting really hungry but I feel like towards the end of the day I am a little bit hungrier. Um, so yeah I'm gonna do my boiled eggs and try that out and see how that works. Oh and then for dinner I'll probably have a protein shake. Um, and then for, I, I have to have an afternoon snack. I'm probably going to eat lo que me quedo, like the rest of this so I can finish it. Um, cause I, I had plenty 
uh, for two servings. So um, this will be for my lunch. And then for my afternoon snack, I have to have a veggie. So I'll probably have just this for my afternoon snack. I'm getting really nervous. I'm not nervous because like, I'm scared. I'm nervous because I don't know. I just, I've never had surgery before. I've never, gracias a Dios, like I haven't had anything crazy. Um, like, you know, broken an arm or anything like that. But um, when I got my wisdom teeth pulled out, I mean, my dentist literally just numbed me up and like put lidocaine and pulled them out. <laughs> like I didn't have to like go under anesthesia or anything. So um, my little Christmas tree, I, I'm so in love with my Christmas tree. Is that weird? Probably not, huh? It's because I'm cool. But yeah, I think I'm just really nervous. I'm, but yeah, I'm excited. It's a week from today. Today's Monday the 7th. So a week from today, I should be getting surgery. Um, <laughs> I can't believe it's here, honestly. I felt like it was going to take forever, but anyway, I'm done talking now. <laughs> All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye. Good morning. <laughs> I woke up a little bit ago and remembered that I haven't recorded because remember, I, I suck at being um, an influencer. Um, anyway, so today is Saturday the 12th december 12th um just a couple more days until my surgery um my surgery is on monday the 14th i'm getting really nervous i'm not nervous i'm actually excited but i don't know it's weird i've continued my liver shrinking diet everything's pretty much remained the same um i've been getting prepared for my uh liquid diet after my surgery which is like a cleared liquid diet so I had to order some stuff online I had to like go to Amazon and order some protein drinks and some bone broth and the rest you know I could just buy it here um like jello and things like that um so yeah surgery on Monday at 7 30 a.m i have to be at the hospital by um 5 30 i think she said yeah 5 30 so my sister and i are my sister shout out to my sister america marka marka um <laughs> she's probably gonna watch this and be like you're an idiot um shout out to you sis i love you because you're my ride or die and you always come with me when I have crazy ideas. Um, <laughs> so America's coming with me. Um, like I do, my understanding is I do have to spend the night. One night. As well, I should be able to be released the next day. Um, it goes well and I can leave the next day. Cause... Ain't nobody got time for, ain't nobody got money for that. I'm just kidding. But anyway. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. That's all I really have as far as an update, y'all. I don't really have much. Besides the fact that it's almost here. I can't believe it. So that's the update. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. If not, I'll probably, I probably won't record again. Well, I'll talk to you guys. I'll try to record tomorrow since it's the day before and then for sure we're gonna record on the day of y'all already know what's up so okay bye y'all all right guys i'm back i wanted to talk to you guys about this um so the week um a couple days i think it was like i can't remember but it was like a couple weeks i mean a couple weeks a couple days before i started my living shrink my liver shrinking diet I had to weigh myself and at that point I was weighing 227 like 0.4 or something like that so then I started my liver shrinking diet and then and I bought a scale because obviously I'm gonna have to weigh myself after surgery so I weighed myself today and check this out I don't know why 
can't turn the camera. Anyway, I weigh two, I'm weighing 217. Well, earlier I was wearing 216.8, but now I'm 217.2, so I'm like, hmm, weird. No, I'm just kidding. But we're going to go with the, oops. Hold on. We're going to go with the 217.2. This is 217.2. Um, so basically I've lost 10 pounds, exactly 10 pounds. So on the liver shrinking diet, um, which is cool, but yeah, we'll see where I weigh after surgery. <laughs> I'm going to weigh myself every week because you're supposed to lose, I can't remember how many pounds per week, but we'll see. All right. Bye. Hey guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos.